Um, but thank you, Mr. Chairman, very much. Um, today, Trump, his Republican allies in Congress, and his propaganda parents on Fox News are peddling a myth. And today, my Republican colleagues uh, on the Senate Commerce Committee are simply doing the president's bidding. Let's be clear. Republicans can and should join us in addressing the real problems posed by big tech. But instead, my Republican colleagues are determined to feed a false narrative about anti-conservative bias meant to intimidate big tech so it will stand idly by and allow interference in our election again. Here's the truth. Violence and hate speech online are real problems. Anti-conservative bias is a problem. Our far attempts to influence our election with disinformation are real problems. Anti-conservative bias is not a problem. The big tech business model, which puts profits ahead of people, is a real problem. Anti-conservative bias is not a problem. The issue is not that the companies before us today are taking too many posts down. The issue is that they're leaving too many dangerous posts up. In fact, they're amplifying harmful content so that it spreads like wildfire and torches our democracy. Mr. Zuckerberg, when President Trump posted on Facebook that when the looting starts, the shooting starts, you fail to take down that post. Within a day, the post had hundreds of thousands of shares and likes on Facebook. Since then, the president has gone on national television and told a hate group to, quote, stand by. And he has repeatedly refused to commit that he will accept the election results. Mr. Zuckerberg, can you commit that if the president goes on Facebook and encourages violence after election results are announced, that you will make sure your company's algorithms don't spread that content and you will immediately remove those messages. Senator, yes. Uh, incitement of violence is against our policy, and there are not exceptions to that, including for politicians. There are exceptions, did you say? There are not exceptions. There are no exceptions, which is very important because obviously um, there could be a message that messages that are sent. Uh, that could throw our democracy into chaos. Uh, and uh, a lot of it can be and will be created uh, if social media uh, sites do not police what the president says. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, if President Trump shares Russian or Iranian disinformation uh, lying about the outcome of the election, can you commit that you will make sure your algorithms do not amplify that content and that you will immediately take that content down. Senator, we have a policy in place that prevents any candidate or campaign um, from prematurely declaring victory or uh, trying to delegitimize the result of the election. And what we will do in that case is we will append some um, factual information to any post that is trying to do that. Um, so if someone says that they won the election when a result isn't in, for example, um, we will append a piece of information to that saying that official election results are not in yet. Um, so that way, anyone who sees that post um, will see that context in line. And also, if one of the candidates uh, tries to prematurely declare victory or, or cite an incorrect result, um, we have a precaution that we've built in to put at the top of the Facebook app for everyone who signs in in the U.S., um, information about the accurate uh, U.S. election voting results. I think that this is a very important um, issue to make sure that, that people can get accurate information about the results of the election. Yeah, it, it cannot be uh, stated as being uh, anything less than critically important. Democracy could be seriously challenged beginning next Tuesday evening and for several days afterwards, maybe longer. And a lot of responsibility is going to be on the shoulders of Facebook and our other witnesses today. Mr. Zuckerberg, if President Trump uses his Facebook account to call for armed private citizens to patrol the polls on election day, 
which would constitute illegal Ill, illegal voter intimidation in violation of the Voting Rights Act, will you commit that your algorithms will not spread that content and that you will immediately take that content down? Senator, my understanding is that content like what you're saying would violate our voter suppression policies and, um, and, and would come down. Okay, again, the stakes are gonna be very high and we're going to take that as a commitment uh, that, uh, that you will do that because obviously uh, we would otherwise have a serious uh, question mark placed over our elections. Um, we know Facebook cares about one thing, using keeping users glued to its platform. One of the ways you do that is with Facebook groups. Mr. Zuckerberg, in 2017, you announced the goal of one billion users joining Facebook groups. Unfortunately, these forum pages have become breeding grounds for hate, echo chambers of misinformation and venues for coordination of violence. Again, Facebook is not only failing to take these pages down, it is actively spreading these pages and helping these groups recruitment efforts. Facebook's own internal research found that 64% of all extremist group joins are due to Facebook's recommendation tools. Mr. Zuckerberg, will you commit to stopping all group recommendations on your platform until U.S. election results are certified, yes or no? Uh, uh, Senator, we have uh, taken the step of stopping recommendations and groups for um, for all political content or, or social issue groups as, as a precaution for this. Um, but just to clarify one thing, the, the vast, vast majority of groups and communities that people are part of um, are... Are, are not extremist organizations or even political. They're, they're interest-based and, and communities that uh, I think are, are quite um, helpful and, and healthy for, for people to be a part of. Um, I do think we need to make sure that our, our recommendation uh, algorithm doesn't encourage people to join uh, extremist groups. That's something that we uh, have already taken a number of steps on, and I agree with you, it's very important that we continue to make progress on it. Well, your you're algorithm is are promoting online spaces that foster political violence, at the very least, you should disable those algorithms that are recruiting users during this most sensitive period of our democracy. Thank you. Thank you.